what I'm going to do is just jump into Fusion and on my file button, I'm going to start a brand new customer. So you've got a couple of tabs up at the top where you've got find customer. This is where you can find existing customers. It's quite a handy tool. So in here under search, we can just type in a name and it will filter out all of the designs that we've used. And it will search across all of these fields. So if I am looking for, say, castle kitchens, I can type in castle and it will filter that and it will find that castle kitchen. You can start a brand new design from here. Or if you're in here, you can click on a brand new design. So this is where you put in your customer's details. You'll see here on the screen that all of these are the same color. If you haven't uh, turned off the compulsory field, these will be black and it will mean you'll have to fill out one of them. We just put in John Wayne, maybe. Okay, so name of the customer, address, telephone number, as much information as you want. The most important part in here, obviously, is the customer's name. The second most important is the email address. So if you do not put in an email address here, you won't be able to create your panoramic 360. So if you go to do your panoramic and it doesn't show up, it will tell you customer's email, etc. Now you can go back in and edit this and put in the email address. Uh, most people that are using this do not put in the customer's email there. They'll put in their own email address so that when the panoramic is created, it will send it back to the dealer so that they can look at it first. If they're happy with it at that stage, then they can send it for that on to the customer and just type in the email and click OK. So at the top, I've filled in the information and on the bottom left hand side, you'll see that the new button pops up. So in other words, I've put in the information required to create a customer. Now I can click on to go straight into the design.